from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. This is my Alien Queen look I created for MAC Cosmetics Space Squad. Keep watching to see how you get this look. I want to start by using a MAC acrylic white. So we're just going to pour a little bit of that into a peach tree. And I like to apply it with a sponge because it just presses really nicely into the skin and you can build the coverage really easily. So I like to start under the eye, cover up those bags. You can see how really nicely and opaque that goes on. So you wanna do this all over, just down to the jawline. Next up, I'm gonna take a little bit of paint pot and a skin tone shade, which is gonna help cancel out if you have darker brows. Just take a little bit with your finger and just go right over top of your brow. Just really press that in and blend it out. It's gonna look a little scary at first, but it's okay, it's Halloween. Oof. While that's still a little bit tacky, I want to take Light Scapade, which is one of my favorite highlighters for every day or for Halloween. This queen wants to be the center of attention. So it's gonna help to smooth out the texture of the skin. So you can start to see how this is really smoothing out the skin. Try not to get in the brow too much because you're gonna create a little bit extra texture like I just did there. So this look requires a little bit of body painting, um, depending on what costume you decide to go with. Mine comes up to my neck, so I'm gonna do a little bit of chroma cake from my shoulders up to my jawline. I'm gonna start with landscape green. I like to mix it with a little bit of Fix Plus, so I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of that. And this is where it gets a little messy. So I'm gonna start right at the jawline here. And then really cut that. Cut it right in front of the ear here as well. It's great to use a synthetic brush like this so you can get a really hard line. And I have this little cleft on my chin here that I'm just gonna make it stand out a little bit more. Her neck to be a little bit darker, like more contoured on the outside and a little bit lighter on the inside. So she looks like she has a really long and thin neck. So now that I've contoured the outer edges, made the inside a little bit lighter, I'm going to take some shadows with a blending brush. I'm going to start with a darker green. Take that up to the ear as well. Just bring that underneath too. Take a bigger brush, dip into that same green. Just go down the sides of the neck. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of a lighter green. We're gonna take the contour just underneath of this, but on top of the cheekbone. So normally you're taking your contour here. You're gonna start here. So I've gone in and mapped out the shape of what I'm going to be doing on the forehead. I wanted to create uh, almost like a crown look on the forehead. So I just went in with a blending brush and just lightly mapped out with a lighter kind of lime green right over top of the brow. And then just bring that kind of contour down on the nose as well. Take a little bit above the lip. A little bit in the chin. And I really want to create a strong jawline in here, so we're just taking a little bit in here. We're going to take the contour, instead of going under the cheekbone, we're going on top of the cheekbone. It's almost giving that really high prosthetic look to your cheekbones without using prosthetics. So just underneath that highlight, bring up that contour onto the cheekbone a little bit more, and then we're going to bring it down. So I really want to create some depth um, in the inner corner of the eye here and on the forehead. When you think of an alien, you think like bigger, round forehead. So we're creating a lot of focus here by adding a lot of depth and highlight. So just taking that darker green shadow right in the corner of the eye here. So now I want to create um, these kind of alien-like beauty marks 
a little bit of black track fluid line, also a staple, a very small brush. So I'm gonna start on the chin here. So you're going to want to take these, you can kind of decide where you want to put them, but I'm planning on putting them chin, cheekbone, and above my crown there. So now that the beauty marks are complete, I'm gonna bring some focus back to the eye. So I'm gonna take black track again with more of an angle brush. Create a liner. Kinda want a more round shape to the eye, so instead of winging it out, I'm just gonna cut it off here and bring it down a little bit. Tilting your head back, resting your brush on your lashes and just pressing that in. So we're gonna thicken this in the outer corner here and just taper it in. Then I'm going to take a little bit of white eyeliner and just go right on the inner rim there. So we finished the eye off with a coat of mascara. Now for the lip. So a very strong point to the bow of her lip. So again with black track. Gonna change the shape slightly here. So I mixed um, some pigments together. I want a little bit of sparkle, so I'm gonna take a little bit of Fix Plus with an angled brush. I'm gonna spray my brush first. I'm gonna dip it in that sparkle. Oh my god, that's so nice. So to kind of tie the look together, I think I wanna add some sparkle through here. Just to incorporate this kind of coppery red. I'm gonna start with a little bit of Fix Plus. Drip this glitter on there. So this completes the Alien Queen look. Thank you for tuning in. And now I'm ready for my throne. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to like this video and stay tuned for more videos. Hashtag Max Space Squad. Happy Halloween.